Gary. It's Mike Sarno. I wanted to respond to your latest couple of videos um, where you talk about bigotry and your disappointment with a lot of uh, YouTube atheists. Um, in a few of my previous videos to you, I talked about how you need to try to find allies um, even in groups of people with which you do not uh, with whom you, you don't always uh, agree. And I think this is an example of the, the wisdom of, of, that, of that strategy. Um, I, I, I sense your frustration uh, with, with uh, certain people on, on YouTube. Um, you would expect more out of them. You agree with them on a number of issues and you just don't understand why they don't get it. Um, with regards to some of these other issues. And uh, I understand that frustration because that's the frustration I have with you. Um, your constant railing against uh, religion um, really makes you blind to the fact that uh, religious people are uh, potentially allies for you in your, uh, your attempts to uh, reform the education system, uh, the election system, the uh, the the rules regarding uh, the, the the laws regarding uh, right to die, uh, the laws regarding legacy wealth. Um, you know, somebody like myself, um, who's, who's basically a religious humanist. Um, you know, when you start talking about, uh, you know, when you start talking with your your anti-religion. Um, you know, I, a lot of that I can tune out, and you know, and, and I've made you know comments to you on on your videos, and I've and I've made videos uh, video replies to you uh, regarding where we do have this common ground, and you know, I'm perfectly willing to work uh, with you to, for you know the instant runoff voting, or um, you know, to get uh, to get the uh, education system back on track by eliminating um, administrators and uh, things like that. Um, you know, I'm I'm willing to, I'm willing to work with you on that, and I and I understand your your frustration uh, with with your your fellow atheists who um, you know who aren't willing to to uh, uh, work in trying to create laws, uh, and particularly now with this whole civil rights issue uh, that you that you brought up, and and I I agree with what you're saying regarding regarding civil rights. Uh, if you don't have laws uh, enforcing uh, basic civil rights, then uh, people will act uh, in selfish ways that uh, that will be that will be bigoted, that will be racist, and you'll have entire classes of people who will uh, be disenfranchised or continue to be disenfranchised. And, and I agree with you. Um, and I would just point out that that we're allies in this, and we have a number of uh, religious allies and a number of non-religious allies who can who can work together with us. So let's find um, you know some good actionable items upon which we can agree and move forward and you know forget about all this this labeling uh, with this group that group the other group because um, for the most part the different groups are not mutually exclusive. So if you use one as a litmus test, then you're going to, um, you know, alienate a whole bunch of people who can really uh, work with you to uh, bring the world closer to uh, the ideals which we share. So um, thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.